Figure out what your gift is. Figure out what it is that you have to offer and follow that, you know, that passion that you have inside of you. What people have a tendency to look at is that they, they look at the barriers and not looking at what they have and see whether or not, you know, the barriers are related to what they can and can't accomplish. Because they, they look at, at an area, they see oppression, they see things that are not perfect, right? And so in their minds, they, they come to this place to where they said, I can't do this because of these things, right? But they don't understand what they can do. Why? Because they never applied themselves or made that effort mm -hmm. to say, what can I do? You can always do something. There are people achieving every day, even in Chad, right? right. There are people uh, against the odds, right? And so the bottom line is, is that if you have to work harder, you work harder. If you have to do more, you do more, right? One thing is sure that I, anytime that I meet you, I feel blessed, you know, this is... <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. And I am thankful to God that we could, you know, during this journey, meet people right. like you, right. so that really share values and uh, impact us, you know, in terms of, I don't know, morality and with what you're saying is like a virtue. And when something is true, my, the mindset and the heart accept it without even doubting. Mm -hmm. So thank you for this blessing. Wow. And, like yeah. the flow, the mind is working. <laughs> So you can see what you have given us as advice and everything. We start to apply that. Yeah. Well, you guys know I see you as my sons. You know, I, I, I like what you're trying to do. I like what you're trying to accomplish, right? And this is that not giving up attitude. Hello, guys. And we are back again with another guest. And he will be introducing himself to you. And from there, we're going to take it. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Bernard Gresham. I've been here before. Uh, you know, to meet with my friends, and, and uh, I'm glad to, that they invited me back. And so we're here to really uh, answer whatever questions they may have for me. Good. Yeah, right. Uh, Uncle Bernard, I'm very happy to have you as always. As always. We're really you. happy to have you. And my first question goes like this. How, you know, uh, there are different people and everyone has its own version of how defining Independence Day means, for example. So what do you think, uh, from your perspective, what is Independence Day for you or for an American? I think for an American, uh, it, it's having the freedom to make decisions that you think is best for your life. Right? And everyone sees this day differently, depending on where you, where you were born, depending on where you were brought up, depending on your life experience. But what independence does mean is that it's, it's upon you. You're independent. That's what it means. You're independent not only as a nation, but you're independent as an individual to be able to make choices that's best suited for your life. Uh, that's a very good uh, answer and I just want to know, a lot of people don't know that America had been colonized or was colonized. So can you tell people like about this colonization, what happened in that period of time? Well, I mean, originally it was a British colony, you know, and through, you know, through taxation and and, and other things, you know, Americans, you know, the, the citizen looked at it and said this was too much, right, and they rebelled you know, against uh, uh, what they considered to be oppression, right? Uh, and so they fought for their independence, you know, to be free from, from, from Britain, right? From, the United, from what now is the United Kingdom. And so for Americans, that, that, that means a lot to them, you know, the freedom to make your own choices. That's what it's all about. Mm. You know, freedom as a nation to be able to do what's best for you as a nation. And, and not have someone dictate to you how they want you to conduct yourself. Uh, that, is, that is American and that's what Americans, uh, uh, that's what they enjoy and that is what they espouse, you know, uh, politically, you know, for other countries. You know, to seek, you know, the, the, the opportunities to, to live the best life that you possibly can, right? And that's what independence does, it allows you to, you know, like a child being independent from their parent. Right, being able to make the decision that's best suited for them, you know, based on who they are, and as a country, that's what they were trying to say. You know, we don't like the way that things are done by uh, uh, Britain, and we want to do it our own way. Mm -hmm. well, very good. Well, one thing that I've been thinking about since this morning is uh, being colonized back in a, back in a year or back in the day, and getting your freedom, and then now you are the most powerful country 
on the earth? How, how, how it takes to, to process all of this? Well, I, I think what for America is this work ethic. You know, this, this work ethic, you know, to try to be the best at everything. Uh, and you can look across the spectrum from science to engineering to tech, you know, all the technology to sports to everything. America strives to be the best at everything. And they're around, they're at the tops of almost everything you can think about. Why? Because we like competition. And, you know, and, and we like to be able to compete against one another. We like to be able to, you know, uh, to applaud those who achieve, you know, against the odds. You know, that is what we, you know, that is who we are, you know, as a country. You know, we are competitive. And, and yet we applaud that, you know, and, and you know, we try to, you know, be competitive in a, in a good way, but not everything is, is perfect, you know, and we, we, there's issues and this type of thing, but the idea that, that we strive to be perfect and we strive to, to be better and, and to represent, you know, the country, the flag that we, that we, hold, that we hold up, right, as being something to where other people can, can aspire to say, you know what, I want to be part of that. So yeah, I'm asking like uh, how how we can we as African and precisely as a Chadian we can embody this mindset of winning and being the best at anything. How we can embody this and how we can instill that mindset in our personalities. I think one of the things that it is is that it's understanding your place, understanding where you are, the gifts that you have, the ability that you have within you, right? Being able to take what's available to you and build upon that, not looking at something that you don't have and wishing you had that, but looking at what you do have and figure out how can I use that to the best of my ability? How can I take this thing and catapult me to something greater, right? Rather than saying, looking at it and say, I wish I had that, I wish I had this, right? You can only work with what you got. Right. Right. And so I think missing the opportunity to work with what you got is part of the problem because people are looking too far ahead. Right. Rather than looking at, at where they really are and, and, and taking stock of that and say, OK, how can I use this thing to get me to where I want to go? Very nice. Very nice. I'm running out of questions. OK, uh, one last thing for our follower and one last advice. for. The Chinese in general. Well, I, I think what I've always offered and what I try to to offer to everyone, particularly young people, right, is figure out what your gift is. Figure out what it is that you have to offer, and 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 follow that. You know that passion that you have inside of you. Uh, you, what people have a tendency to look at is that they they look at the barriers, right? and not looking at what they have and see whether or not you know the barriers are related to what they can and can't accomplish because they, they look at uh, at an area they see oppression they see things that are not perfect right and so in their minds they they come to this 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 place to where they said i can't do this because of these things right but they don't understand what they can do. Why? Because they never applied themselves or made that effort to say, what can I do? You know, because you can always do something. There are people achieving every day, even in Chad, right? There are people against the odds, right? And so the, the, the bottom line is, is that you have to, if you have to work harder, you work harder. You know, if you have to do more, you do more, right? And, and, you know, it's, it's not necessarily the place that you arrive at, but it's the journey that you go along, right? That is where you reap the benefits of, of what's available in life and this type of thing. So you have to take the challenges as they come, right? Uh, no one said that everything was going to be easy. Right. No one said that it was going to be equal, right? But, but one thing about them is, is that if you apply yourself, right, it could be beneficial. Right. You know, or you can lay down, you know, you got a choice, right? Either, either push or lay down. It's really up to you, right? And so I choose to push, right, to try to move forward, rather than lay down and just, uh, just let whatever comes my way comes my way. And so that's the choice you have as young people, you know, to push 
and to push the, you know, and you're pushing the limits. You're pushing the limits of your ability. You're pushing the limits of what's of what's going on in your country, what's going on in your life, what's going on in your family, right? Pushing the limits, right? Right to see what I can achieve. You know, it, it's the one who who pushed relentlessly, relentlessly, is the one who ends up achieving, right? Right, and not taking no for an answer. You know, no only means to me is like right now. No doesn't mean tomorrow. You know, the people who keep achieving. They hear no, like, okay, so not today. Next but it doesn't mean that tomorrow, right? So tomorrow, come back again, because I'm persevering. Right. Right? Okay? Thank you. Very good. This is amazing. Anytime. Any last word from you guys? Yeah. If they like videos like that, guests like this, they have to share, comment, and like, right? So keep pushing and keep working on your work ethic and enhance your ability of saying no. No to me means and. It's next. Yes. And oh, it's opportunity. That's right. So you see that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next, so, opportunity. You know, next opportunity. Yes. I just want to make a comment. You know, uh, one thing is sure that I, anytime that I meet you, I feel blessed. You know, this is. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. And, 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 you know, I am thankful to God that we could, you know, during this uh, journey meet people right. like you right. so that really share values and uh, impact us, you know, in terms of, I don't know, morality and what you're saying is like a virtue. And when something is true, my, the mindset and the heart accept it without even doubting. So thank you for this blessing. Wow, and like yeah. the flow, the mind is working. These days. So you can see what you have given us as advice and everything. We start to apply that. Yeah. Well, you guys know I see you as my sons. You know, I, I, I like what you're trying to do. I, I, I like what you're trying to accomplish, right? And, and and this is that not giving up attitude, right? You, you could look at your situation and say, you know, we didn't come from much, you know, so I, you know, why should I try, right? Right. But the thing about it, I didn't come from much either, right? I didn't come from much as far as materialistic things, right? Right. But I came from much as more as believing. You know, so I came from people who believed in a better future. I came from people who believed that things were possible. Yes, right? can I just... So, so this is what I'm looking at, right? The drive, the push, the motivation, right? That's where I came from. And so the same thing with you guys. You can't look at where you came from does not mean where you're going to end up. Right. Right? You, you can choose where you end up. You know, giving up is, you know, when you look at it, say, for me, giving up is not an option. Right? There's there's things on the table, but giving up is not one of them. Right. You know? So I'm, I'm unrelenting, right? And, and, and just like, you know, years ago when I was in the military, you know, uh, uh, retreating does not mean I quit. Retreating means I'm regrouping. Regrouping, yeah. I'm regrouping and I'm coming back. Right. You see? And this is what you have to do. You have a, you have a setback. If you learn something from a setback, then that means you didn't lose. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. A setback could be a setup right. for something else. <laughs> Right. You see, so that's what I look at it. So okay. you guys have that same thing inside of you, and I just encourage you to keep going forward. You know, no matter what people say, no matter what people think, right? Because their opinion only matters if you allow it to matter. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. But belief in yourself is what matters. Okay. Knowing that you're on to something, knowing that you can accomplish something, that is what you guys should focus on. And I applaud you for that because I know that you're on to something. I can feel that you're on to something, and more people need to get on board. Right. Right. More people need to get on board and understand that you can achieve against the odds. Right. I'm living proof right. that you can go places, no matter what someone you know what someone else say. Because why? Because they don't choose my destiny. You know, it's up to me to accept something as being my destiny. Right. right? And so I haven't chose that that losing is my destiny. And so therefore, you don't have to choose that losing is your destiny. You can call me a loser, but this doesn't make me a loser. Right. It's what I believe. Right. Right. I believe I'm a winner. Right. Right. And I'm winning every day, maybe a little bit at a time, but I'm winning every day. Mm -hmm. So win every day. That's what you want to do. All right. Win every day. Thank you very much. And believability is everything. God, may God exceedingly and abundantly bless you like he ever has. And guys, we love you so much. And as I told you, keep following us and loving us. Thank you. Yes.